In this video I'm gonna show you how I built this awesome workbench using just a screwdriver. Yep, you heard that right, you only need one screwdriver to complete the build of this workbench. In my opinion this is the ultimate electronics workbench. It has just the right height for me, it uses the available space as efficient as possible, it's very strong and best of all it's modular and upgradable, meaning you'll be able to grab the project files uh, that I designed for this workbench and adjust them to your needs, make it smaller, bigger, make it fit your needs. Oh and did I mention that it costs less than half of those commercially available workbenches with similar specs. Stick with me in this video and I'll show you how I built mine. First of all let's start with some history. Those who have been following me for a while know that I used a couple of DIY wood benches for a number of years and they served their purpose. They were the first workbenches that I hand built. They were cheap and relatively easy to build but they had some limitations like I needed a separate shelving system on the wall behind the workbench to hold all of my test gear and once you build them it's pretty hard to modify them to a different setup. So once I moved to this new office space I knew I would need a new workbench so I started thinking about my options. Buying a commercially available workbench that would suit my needs would cost between 1500 and 2000 euros depending on the company selling it and the options it was equipped with and it meant I had to go for a standard width typically 1.5 or 1.6 meters which wasn't using the space I had available uh, in this new lab very efficiently. I had 2 meters available for this workbench in the new lab. That's when I decided to make my own workbench because this presented several advantages. It was going to cost me less and it's going to be designed according to my needs. At first I thought about uh, building it from steel square profiles and while that would have been cheap it, it had some big disadvantages for me. It would require a lot of tools and a lot of cutting and welding uh, stuff that I'm not comfortable with doing plus you would need to paint it in the end. It also mean it would be pretty heavy so hard to assemble and disassemble and move around. So I quickly turned my attention to aluminum profiles which started to seem like the perfect option for this project. If you are thinking about building your electronics workbench there is a high probability you are also doing PCB design so let me introduce the sponsor of this video Altium, one of the most advanced PCB design softwares on the market. Altium has some pretty advanced features which enable collaboration among multiple team members so there is no wonder they are a popular choice in the professional PCB design world. Check out the link placed in the description below to sign up for a free trial of Altium. There are several different standards that these aluminum profiles are, are built to but one of the most popular ones is the Bosch profile type. This defines the shape of the profile, the slot size, the different thicknesses and you could probably go for a different profile standard if you want to build your own uh, but the Bosch profile is pretty popular here in the uh, EU so I went with this. Then for a particular profile size you typically get two options the light and heavy model with the heavy typically weighing twice as much as the light because of the increased material thickness on the profile. Because I wanted my workbench to be 2 meters wide and it would have to support a bunch of test gear I went with the heavy option 45 by 45 millimeter square profile because after a bit of research and playing with various bits of software I found online they showed it would support the weight better with less bending on the uh, very long beams. I threw together a quick model in Fusion 360 just to get a feel of how everything will fit together and I'm not a mechanical engineer so some of the things uh, could be improved here like the way different beams meet in the corner sections. I just did it how it seemed logical for me but uh, I would definitely like to hear your feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you see something that could be optimized in this design. The model is available for download, I'll put a link in the description below but be aware that it doesn't contain all of the corner brackets, all of the screws, I just didn't bother adding every little detail in here as I wasn't sure how I was going to assemble it in the end. But to help you recreate my design you'll find a link to the blog post uh, in the description below the video and there will be a set of high resolution images with every angle of the workbench so you can see how I attached the uh, brackets and screws. 
For attaching the profiles, I decided to use these 45 degree corner brackets, which are pretty nice and easy to assemble. They have these alignment pins that go into the slot and they are secured using two screws with the associated uh, spring nuts inside the profile slots. I used a bunch of these throughout the design and in the description below you'll also find the link to the bill of materials showing how many of these you will need to purchase if you are trying to recreate this design. Then there are plastic covers that you can get to cover the uh, ends of the aluminium profile beams as well as the various uh, corner brackets. Like you see here I had these open ends, I covered them with uh, plastic covers which are pretty cheap so I recommend you get a few of these as well. And like mentioned before I used 45 by 45 mm square profiles the heavy duty variant throughout the design with the exception of the two vertical posts that also serve as support for the shelves. For those I went with 45 by 90 millimeters oriented this way because most of the forces on these beams will try to bend them uh, this way so it would provide the best rigidity. Next I did a bit of searching online to find the supplier for these aluminium profiles as well as all of the associated hardware for fastening the different beams together. I ended up buying everything from Mortedis which is this European supplier with warehouses across multiple countries. They have a pretty good price on, on these, probably not the absolute lowest but still decent pricing and best of all they had this cutting service where you would put in the different sizes you would need and they would cut the profiles to size and as a bonus they also had cheap shipping options i paid like 50 euros shipping for everything that was used to build this uh, workbench so i can definitely recommend this supplier if you are in the eu i only have positive feedback for them for the uh, tabletop there are some commercially available options some that come with ESD safe finish but the problem that I had was that they would only come in a maximum of I believe 1.8 meters width and I believe 70 centimeters depth which wouldn't cover my uh, design. They were also pretty expensive and they were not available in stock so instead I went with this uh, beach wood panel that was just the right size at 2 meters width by 1 meter depth so it required a single cut on the back edge for adjusting the bench depth but that was easily handled at the hardware store where I got it from because they also provide this cutting service which is very cheap. The thickness is 28 millimeters that's pretty nice makes for a solid work surface but the uh, finish on this panel wasn't too nice just because it's not designed to be a tabletop. I don't know what the purpose of this is but certainly not a tabletop. It just had too many rough edges from all of the different pieces glued together to form the panel but overall this was a very good value for money because it was just uh, 90 euros from a local hardware supply chain. To give this wood some protection I treated the surface with some natural wood oil which also gave it this nicer deeper color. However, all of this shouldn't matter much if you decide to protect your work surface with some ESD mats like I did here. These are premium ESD mats and they are so much nicer than the cheap Chinese ones because for a start these do not smell bad when you get them and second you immediately notice how they behave better with heat and chemicals. These mats were sourced from V Electron and I'll put a link to these in the description below. I went with the uh, gray color because this is great for video shooting but uh, you can also get these on blue which looks very nice. As for the shelves I covered these with some cheap pine wood panels that were exactly the right depth I just had to cut them to length again using the store's cutting service and I also treated these with the same uh, wood oil product which gives them a little bit of uh, protection. Another big advantage of these aluminium profiles is that they are widely used in the industry. So there are lots of commercially off-the-shelf accessories and mounting hardware that is compatible with these. Take for example the uh, feet that I use for this table. They are super nice M12 thread industrial type leveling feet. They have this ball joint which allows them to cope with an uneven floor surface. They are not expensive at all. And if you also have a 3D printer then you can start printing all sorts of hardware compatible uh, with the profiles. So like I mentioned a hex screwdriver is pretty much the main tool you'll need to build this workbench uh, because all, all that's needed is to screw down these hex screws. But I also used a couple of other tools to help me along the way. For example I used an electric drill for screwing down many of these screws and I also used one of these cheap uh, M12 taps because the uh, bottom feet uh, just screw down into the middle of the Bosch profiles. 
So you need to tap on M12 thread for that. Uh, as you can see, the profile is specifically shaped, so it makes it easy to tap this thread. In fact, this tap was like five euros at the local hardware shop, so it's the cheapest I could get, but you don't need anything fancy because aluminum is soft and it's it has the, the right shape that it makes it very easy to tap that M12 thread, and then you can just screw in the standing feet. Another good example is how I attach this power delivery unit to the back of the equipment shelf using the rack mounting brackets and the same screws and nuts. This is secured to the profile slot and these profiles are just very flexible in terms of mounting stuff so that's why I think they're a perfect choice for this workbench. I ordered everything around March 2021 and the total cost for the aluminum profiles plus all fastening hardware was around 650 euros including shipping but I ordered about two and a half meters of extra profile length and a bunch of other screws and accessories that you wouldn't need for this exact build. Prices might have gone up over the past couple of months as raw aluminum got more expensive, so if you're trying to order the same thing today, you'd probably expect a 10% increase or more. But I still think this is good value for money because it's cheaper than commercially available units, which I believe their price also went up according with the increase in the raw material cost. But best of all, if you build one of these work workbenches, it's going to be built according to your specific needs. And if you divide the cost by the number of years the workbench is going to serve its purpose, like I imagine I would easily use this workbench for 10 plus years, if not more, which makes it like what 65 euros per year that's very affordable it's certainly built very well it's very strong and i could easily see this workbench lasting more than 10 years and if i change location in in the next 10 years i could easily disassemble this and move it to a new new location and if i needed to be a different size i could easily cut the uh, profiles and reassemble it to different dimensions another big advantage is that you can order everything you need to build this workbench from a single shop and uh, have it delivered well minus the wood uh, work surface but everything else can be ordered from a single web shop and have it delivered to your door that's a super nice advantage and that's why i think this is the ultimate uh, workbench because it's uh, it suits my needs very nicely it's easy to build and it's very flexible the aluminum profiles are not conductive at their surface, but if you go through the uh, protective anodizing layer, you will notice they uh, start to get conductive. So there is a slight risk of electrical shock or short circuit if it gets in contact with any exposed wires. Uh, an option might be to earth the whole workbench, uh, but I don't feel like that's necessary just because any exposed aluminum is away from my work area and I don't, I don't think that's ever going to be an issue. The bill of material link below contains all of the different hardware used and the different lengths of profile that you need to order. And to optimize the different cuts based on the available stock length, I use this super nice online calculator, which I'll also link in the description below. There are two cross beams, which uh, help strengthen the table structure. And these are mounted and cut at a 45 degree angle at their ends and they also need some drilling through the core to allow the screws to pass through. I'm not sure Motedis can supply these, I just had a one meter long piece of profile that I had cut in half and drilled at my local uh, CNC shop. Uh, the guy there understood exactly what to do and uh, the end result is that the table is very rigid after adding these uh, support beams. Depending on how far from the edge these holes are drilled, you're going to need four pieces of M8 by roughly 35 mm length screws to reach the, the nut in the slot below. I'm not sure if there are any ready-made corner brackets that you could use to attach this, maybe some 135 degrees uh, brackets. I couldn't find any on uh, Mortedis, so I just went with the option of drilling through the profile and cutting them at a uh, 45 degree angle, so I can just use the uh, standard bolts and nuts for attaching these. I also thought about making this online configurator app for such a workbench where you could adjust the size of the workbench and the different options to suit your needs and then start selling these under the Volog brand name but then I'm not sure how many I could sell to make it worth the time and money invested into this project so instead I decided to just release the uh, project as open source so anyone can grab the source files and build their own workbench. The design could probably be optimized to use maybe less corner brackets, less screws, maybe a different fastening system, but then you would move away from the idea of 
building this really easy because if you switch to a different fastening system it might require drilling through the uh, core of the aluminum profiles and I try to avoid that to use uh, just simple tools to be able to uh, assemble this workbench. I'm really happy with how this project turned out and it was really the best choice I could have made to go with these uh, aluminum profile they really make this workbench great uh, but I'm also interested in hearing your feedback uh, what are your thoughts about this uh, electronics workbench what you would do to improve this design so let me know in the comments below that was all for today don't forget you can support the channel on patreon with as little as one dollar per month and if you don't feel like doing that just smash that like button it's super important for the youtube algorithm thank you for doing that and i will see you next time